Hello, my name is Sarita and I'm speaking to you today from Solhenge and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now what I wanted to share with you today was an energetic exercise in which you're going to be able to access your, your energy centers for information about your relationship to food and how you can heal it. And the reason I wanted to do this is because it's coming up a lot with many people, many of my clients, that their issues around food are ready to be cleared. And what I think is happening at the moment is there's a massive amplification of energies and an amplification of emotional baggage as we are being granted more and more access into the fifth dimension. And this is because you can't take your emotional baggage with you into fifth dimensional reality. It just can't exist there. So what I'm noticing with this amplification of energies is that all of people's issues are coming up massively thick and fast so that they can heal them. And something which seems to be a really big issue in today's society is addiction. There are a lot of addictions and a lot of addictive behaviors. And one of the ones which is really common is addictions and emotional attachments around food. So what I wanted to do today was to work with you around this subject of food. But the energetic informational meditation that I'm going to do with you today doesn't have to be centered around food because the way this meditation or exercise works is that we're going to explore each of the energy centers and ask them to give us information about our relationship with food so that we can heal it. But you could do this around anything. So if you have other addictions, so if you're addicted to um, you know, emotional outbursts like anger, you could do it around that. Or if you're addicted to other substances such as alcohol, you could do it around that. You could use this energetic exercise around anything because basically the energy centers within your body are portals of information. You know, they're picking up information from everywhere, from the source field, um, from your emotional, mental, physical body. And they're storing that information in the energy centers. And all you've got to do is to ask for the information and it will be given to you. So this is a really interesting exercise to do in and of itself but it's particularly interesting to do around the issue of food. And I myself have had issues around food. You know, I found that instead of using, I mean, obviously food is something that nourishes us and also gives us pleasure, but I have found myself off and on throughout my life using food to stuff my feelings. And this is something that I see is really common with many, many, many people. And it's something that I'm slowly clearing out of my system, but it's something that's come up again for me recently because I know I need to heal the core issues around this so that I can let it go and spend more and more time in fifth dimensional reality. And so I wanted to share this with you because it's just such a common thing. And food and any kind of substance abuse or addictions is used to stuff feelings or numb oneself because it's an avoidance of pain. And what I found with me personally is that if I am feeling um, upset in any way. My initial, you know, my subconscious program is to just reach for pasta <laughs> or chocolate. And I think a lot of us have this. And what's happened is our relationship with food has become very emotionally entangled with us so that our subconscious emotions cause us to behave in, a, in an addictive manner around food. And you may have really massive food issues or you might just have sort of slight ones like I do. But whatever your issues are, in order to move into fifth dimensional reality, you need, really need to be able to clear them. And this is because coming into the fifth dimension is all about obtaining your sovereignty. And part of that is really understanding yourself on an intrinsic level and knowing what is serving you and letting go of what isn't serving you. And what we ingest into our bodies is a massive part of attaining sovereignty. Because many of us are ingesting things all of the time which we 
feel aren't really serving us and we're doing it anyway. And in that we're being self-sabotaging in our behaviors. And we might just be doing this, you know, on small scales, or maybe we're doing big things like binge drinking or things like that. There's, there's so many ways that we can self-sabotage. And every time you self-sabotage, you're basically telling yourself that you don't love yourself. And really, food and drink, the things that we consume are a massive part of this. And I'm not just talking about um, you know, big consumption or big addictions. I'm also talking about smaller things. You know, what is it that you take into your body, which you actually really don't like taking into your body, but you do anyway. So for example, I've pretty much all but given up drinking. And I've done this quite insistently over the last year. And I was never really much of a big drinker, but I would drink if I was at a party or something. And in the last year, I've basically given up drinking. And it's been such a road of self-love because every time I choose not to have a drink, I show up for myself with love because the fact of the matter is for me personally, every time I drink, I just don't feel very good. Even if I have one glass of something, I don't feel great in my physical body. And what I found is that my mind goes all fuzzy and my preference is to be able to meditate and be clear. And what's happened to me over this last year of basically giving up drinking is that I'm really feeling good about myself. And it was like I made a sovereign decision to show up for myself and choose love. Because every time I have a drink, I don't feel good. So there are a lot of issues around this and a lot of issues around food. You know, if you go out for a massive meal and everybody else is drinking, you kind of feel compelled to join in. But if you actually don't like drinking and you make a decision in that not to drink. You're just showing up for yourself with love. And I think there are so many instances where we put things in our mouths unconsciously and we send sabotaging signals or we reinforce self-sabotage of our unconscious programs. So really this whole meditation that I'm about to show you is an opportunity to become present with your body and consciously ask each of the energy centers what their relationship is with food. In other words, what's the relationship that you with your subconscious programs have created around food that is now manifesting in each of those energy centers and manifesting in your reality? So, this exercise is really interesting and I did this exercise today and even today uh, you know I was finding I was being given new information by my energy centers which really showed me why I unconsciously eat when I'm feeling emotional so for example the energy center um in my pineal gland told me that basically I eat food to numb my own psychic power because I'm scared of it. So that's the type of information that you might receive as you're working through the energy centers and asking for information around food. And so this is how it's gonna work and then we're just gonna do it. So what you're gonna do is I'm going to relax you and then I'm going to take you through each of the energy centers. Now we've got many, many energy centers in our body. I'm gonna take you through the major ones. And as we land in each center, we're going to sit with the center, feel the energy within the center, and then we're gonna ask the center, what is your relationship with food? And the center is going to give you information, insightful, intuitive information. And for me, it was coming up in different ways. So sometimes I was getting an image or a color or a sensation or a feeling. So anything could happen as you're asking each of the energy centers what their relationship with food is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work up through the major energy centers. And then at the end, we're going to ask all of the energy centers to come into a collective awareness and project into your energy field information which will start you on your road to healing your relationship with food if you've got an issue with food. And as I said, although I'm taking you specifically with food through these energy centers, you could do this meditation or this energetic um, 
informational, I don't know what you would call it, energetic, informational exercise uh, with anything, anything where you don't feel in alignment with something. And so at the end, all of your energy centers are going to come together and they're going to show you how to step out onto this new road of coming into alignment with food. And I really think it's important that we do this because as I've said in other videos, we are taking this manifested physical body with us into the fifth dimension. And fifth dimensional living is heart-centered, present moment awareness state of being. And as we take this physical body of ours into the fifth dimension, it needs to be in a state of love. And in order to reach that state of love, we have to be consciously aware of what we're putting into our body. And it's not that it matters what you put in your body, it's that you're in alignment with it when you place it in your body. So if you're somebody who absolutely massively loves chocolate and beer, that's great, that's fine if you're in alignment with it, if every time you put chocolate and beer into your body, you feel good about it and your body feels good about it, you're going to have a manifested reality of health and happiness and that's really important. But if you have issues around food and you're worried about people um, judging you or you have issues around self-worth and you get worried every time you put chocolate and beer into your body, so in other words, you're consuming from a state of non-alignment, then what happens is your manifested reality brings you health issues and psychological issues and emotional issues that show up in your day-to-day -day living. So that's what I mean by coming into alignment. It doesn't really matter what you put into your body so long as you're in alignment with it and it resonates with you on a frequency that serves you for your greatest good. So this is a real opportunity to go into a deep, a deeply relaxed state and allow your energy centers to perhaps give you information that you have missed because you're probably eating in a subconscious way, in an unconscious way. And so hopefully this will then push you onto a path of consuming in a conscious manner and coming into a happier, healthier state of being. So that's it. So when you're ready, um, we're going to begin. And I'm gonna ask you to take a breath in and a breath out and close your eyes. And what I want you to do now is to just begin to follow your breath. So you're bringing your attention to the breath and you're just observing it as it enters your body and as it leaves your body. Allowing your focus to rest on the breath. And now I want you to slow your breath down just a little, so don't force it. You're elongating your breaths and each breath is relaxing you. And as you sit here in the darkness behind your eyelids, Understanding that the breath is a tool for connection to the self. So as you breathe in and as you breathe out, you are connecting to yourself. And every time you breathe out, you are relaxing. Breathing in connection. 
breathing out and relaxing. And as you breathe in, feel your whole body filling with breath. Feeling the breath and your connection through the breath, filling your whole body. I'm beginning to perceive now your whole body as energy and information. Your body is light frequency information. So feeling all of the information and energy within your body from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. And I want you to bring your awareness now to the energy center at your perineum. And I want you to just feel the, the energy of this first center in your body. Observing it. And can you now ask this energy center to show you its relationship to food? So ask your energy center this question. What is your relationship to food? And as you sit within this center, observing it, just see what this center shows you. It might show you an image or a feeling or a color or a texture or words or sounds. So just allowing this energy center to show you its relationship to food. And you're just observing what is going on. What are you being told? So now elevating your awareness to the second energy center in your body, around your lower intestines. So sitting your awareness within this center, feeling it. And again, I would like you to pose this question to this energy center. What is your relationship with food? 
see what this energy center tells you. What information are you being shown? Now gently letting that go and elevating your awareness to the third energy center in the body around your belly button. So just sitting your awareness in this center, feeling it on an energetic level. And now asking the question of this center, what is your relationship to food? and then observing what comes up. Sitting with the answer. Observing your body, your energy centers, giving you information. And now elevate your awareness to the heart center. Resting your attention within this sacred center, feeling it. And once again, asking the question, what is your relationship to food? And seeing what information the heart center wishes to show you. And letting that go and elevating your awareness to the throat center. Feeling all of the energy within this center. And asking the question, what is your relationship to food? And now observing what information comes up for you. Observing without judgment. The intelligence of the center speaking to you. And letting that go and elevating your awareness to the energy center in the middle of your head, 
your pineal gland. Sitting within this centre and asking of it, what is your relationship to food? And now observing the information that is brought to you. And letting that go. And finally moving up to the crown chakra on the top of your head. This connection to the higher realms and to your higher self. Just feeling the energy in this crown. What does this energy center feel like? And now posing the question, what is your relationship to food? And as the answers arise, observing them. and gently let that go. And just for a moment, I want you to feel all of your energy centers and feel their joy and their delight in their expression to you of what has been going on. Their gratitude to be asked how readily they are available to you to share information with you that is for your highest good. So just feeling all of those centers, feeling the innate intelligence within your being. and give thanks to your energy centers for communicating with you. And now, can you ask all of your energy centers to project an image or a set of images in front of you that will help you on your road to coming into alignment with food. So asking them as a collective to project information in front of you that will assist you on your road to coming into alignment with food. So what can you do? How can you be? What will assist you in this situation? And seeing what the information is that they send to you. a handy hint to start you on your journey into alignment with food.
And so now I'd like you to thank your energy centers once again. And when you're ready, coming back into the room and opening your eyes.